Hey guys, it's Sam for Ryzen Lab, and in this quick tip tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can make Ryzen UV real space behave like virtual spaces. Now, some of you may not know the difference between real space and virtual space, and it's simply this Ryzen UV real space has a one to one relationship between the 3D space and the UV space. So if you have a 3D polygon that's a metre high, it will be a metre high in the UV space too. Virtual spaces, however, has a relative relationship between the 3D space and the virtual space. So what does this actually mean in real terms? Well, if you want to bring something into the real world, like create guides for laser cutting machines, well then you're going to need to use real space. But if your objects are going to exist virtually, say in a game engine or a 3D application, then virtual spaces is the one for you. So with that out of the way, let's pop over to Ryzen UV and uh, look at how we can do this. Okay, so here we are in Ryzen UV real space. And to get it to act like virtual spaces, we actually only need to change a few things. So the first thing we're going to look at is this absolute stretch at the bottom here. Absolute stretch evaluates the relationship between the area and size between the 3D space and the UV space. This option is actually only available in real space. We don't want to see the absolute differences. Much like virtual spaces, we just need the relative differences. So let's switch this over from absolute stretch to distortion. The next thing we need to deal with is up here. You can see here it says one to one. When active, Optimize resizes the processed polygon so that UV space area equals their 3D space area. Now we don't need it to do that because we want a relative difference, not a one to one. So we can turn this off too. Now the last thing I'm going to do is actually change the min scaling and the max scaling. Now I'm, I'm aware that in virtual spaces you can actually change these to whatever you want, but the default setting for these two things is set to free. So I'm going to do that too. So now we've changed those few things, real space will now act and behave like the default settings in virtual spaces. I hope this quick tip was helpful to you and I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and hit the little bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can also check out the videos on screen now and also don't forget to visit us at our website and our social media. Cheers guys, bye.